Destiny, Jasmine Jafar, Farah, Pixie, Not So Erudite, their influence was bought by a political action committee that goes by the name Progressive Victory. Here's his alt account just saying the N word. You are complicit in what happened yesterday to some degree. He just keeps hounding him. Why are you dodging? Why are you dodging? Rolo, <laughs> friend of the stream, Rolo Tomasi, better known as the rational male. He wrote a number of books, you know. We get along so well. The best of friends, truly. The greatest of friends. Very recently, he was embad- embroidered in a large Twitter feud with Gislick. It was a great feud. It was a wonderful, wonderful feud. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm just gonna pull it up for you. It's uh, it's wild. <laughs> All I can think is aging as a social media influencer and like not letting go of like your best times. Um. <sighs> not good. If you follow Destiny, now's the time to watch him because this is his downfall. This is the end of Destiny right here. And I told I told Mike this. Mike was like, "Oh man, he's not. He's going to be on CNN tomorrow." I'm like, mm. "Yeah, for what? For having the meltdown that he's having right now?" You got to remember that Destiny, Jasmine Jafar, Farah, Pixie, not so erudite. Uh, let's see, uh, Philion. Um, I, I can't even remember the, the rest of these guys. Um, Who's Philion? These are people who were political operatives. Their influence was bought by a political action committee that goes by the name Progressive Victory. They are the ones who are out. In fact, I would not be surprised if this Matthew whatever Cook is, Thomas Matthew Cook is not also part of Progressive Victory. (laughs) Just so it's super clear, I work as an event coordinator for progressive victory. I don't do content for progressive victory at all, but like all the canvassing events that they hosted, I coordinated all of that. I get paid a monthly salary because I work for them, but I've always been open about that. In fact, a lot of my stream doesn't like fully jive with necessarily like what PBU want to put out there. Um, I very much so I'm not bought for my opinion. I am paid for my services. I cannot believe that he just said that Thomas Crooks might have been part of progressive victory. All I can imagine is that this guy has literally never been close to anything political before. And this is like the first like political org he's ever heard of or known of. And a whole bunch of people that he hates is part of it. So he's just assumed that we're super, just so it's clear, progressive victory. I, God bless him. You know, I love him, work for him. They are a very, very small company in like the political game. Just to be very clear, okay? <laughs> Wild. Um, is Thomas Matthew Cook is not also part of Progressive Victory. I would not be surprised or has made donations or has some sort of connection. That's why these guys are twisting in the wind right now, trying to figure out what their narrative is going to be. Because now you took a shot at a standing or a few, uh, a previously a formerly standing president and this is the result of that. <laughs> Wait, so he thinks that PV paid the assassination, the guy who attempted the assassination, and that when Trump gets elected, he's going to come after specifically Destiny and PV because he thinks that we paid them off. <laughs> Crazy. <sighs> this is... Is this what happens when you age? Is this aging? I don't know. Is this what happens when you're like, you know what, my time is done? I've not been thinking well for the last 20 years. I'm going to, you know, let it be. The product of you guys and your rhetoric being bought and paid for by political action committees since 2022, since July of 2022. That's at least by my record, Sam Drismala, who is the uh, administrator of the guy that uh, maybe he's the owner or the creator of Progressive Victory. He's the founder. He's started, one of the co-founders. Admittedly started buying left-leaning, progressive-leaning influencers as far back as July of 2022. I'll show you the, I'll, I'll 
point you guys in the right direction. It's actually so frustrating when people talk about PV in this way, because there are absolutely political orgs that will basically pay people for their opinion. But those political orgs typically target TikTokers. TikTokers, um, TikTok doesn't have like a culture of like authenticity, essentially. And so a lot of TikTokers really genuinely can be essentially paid to spout any message that you want. Not all of them, to be clear. It really varies by the TikToker. But by and large, if you're looking for somebody who's basically saying, I want to pay you to just say whatever we want, they're not coming to streamers. Um, because we explicitly don't do that at all. In fact, like so much of our current policy is aimed at protecting streamers that like work with us to basically be like, only do content that naturally comes to you that you already want to do. We're just paying you for the rights to be able to put it on our own channel and promote it to like media and stuff like that. That's essentially what's going on. So it's like actually wild. This is like, I don't, he just doesn't know though. He doesn't know. And I'm not going to name them because he's going to watch this later and be like, wait, that group. But it's really hard to do with streamers because streamers are on lives for like four to five hours at a time. It's really hard to buy out somebody's opinion for four to five hours straight. They're usually going to drop message. Um, and by and large, the streaming community really, really hates that shit. So most streamers that get popular, are just like it's against their own values. Can hold with such a wide coalition. Is there any problem with infighting at PV? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. This isn't like a PV PR moment, guys. As far as the uh, the documentary is concerned, that is now all of the shit has been coming out in the last like month or so. And nobody's really even, no one is banging a gong about this except for me. And Destiny is one of the higher ups. He's one of the, probably the, he's like the feather in the cap of progressive victory. <laughs> uh, he doesn't even, I don't think we've ever paid him anything. In fact, he's just helped us fundraise for a canvassing event. <laughs> so if you are a Trump supporter, and you had this kid, this high-functioning autistic kid on <laughs> your show, you are complicit in what happened yesterday to some degree because you gave the motherfucker a platform. What oh, my God. God, what conservatives become anti-platformers. De-platform, de-platform. I hate this rhetoric. The only reason it happened is because... Biden was calling him a Nazi. It's like, you want to know why all of this shit has happened? Because social media got imbibed with political advocacy and it has led to a greater division than we've ever seen in, in North America and kind of globally, literally ever. And the problem is that algorithms reinforce bad faith and uh, basically like uh, extremist statements. That's what trends really well, because if it bleeds, it leads. The reality is that everyone wants to stare at a train wreck, right? Everyone wants to see like the kids fighting out back. They just like, don't want to be the ones fighting. Um, that's the problem. There's no like secret person behind all of this being like, woo, 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 woo. it's not the Democrats. It's not the Republicans. It's that everyone is doing this. And People are not policing their own. Now, to be clear, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Liberals police their own way better right now than conservatives are. I do not see enough conservatives calling out the absolute bullshit that is coming out of the RNC. Whereas I do see liberals constantly course correcting themselves, constantly telling themselves that they're being incorrect, constantly kicking out people like Hassan and saying, like, not part of us, not interested. I will give conservatives points. They absolutely kicked out the Nazis. They said, Fuck those people. But the reality is that like this whole Trump like thing is just unprecedented and and it is reinforced by social media. It's why you see the Dems increasingly being inflammatory. It's why you saw like the absolute Trump derangement syndrome that occurred in 2016 because all of culture had been moving left. And then all of a sudden, the most salacious claims about Trump is what got everyone most interested. Again, it's not like this like insidious, nasty thing. It's these like echo chambers pulling further and further away from each other's realities. And the problem is that the most outlandish thing in the echo chamber gets the most eyes. And then people in that echo chamber think that that's what's normal when it's not. And they're just never talking to the other side, which is why it's so annoying to listen to like, God, listening to Republicans describe a liberal perspective can be the most painful thing in the world. They're like, oh yeah, classic liberals. They're just like, I'm better than everyone else. And I want your kids to be trans. And it's like, that's not the typical liberal position at all, at all. That's just not how this works. There are members of Congress that didn't endorse Trump at least. Uh, I know. I know, but the problem is that they get no love, they get no praise, and their seats are at like massive threat. Looking into his background, because all the all you saw was just 
You're doing the same thing to them. Uh, just so it's clear, I'm not being a middle of the fencer here. The RNC is being worse. I just will also acknowledge where the Democrats have gone wrong. Don't hear me doing an olive branch as agreeing that things are equal. Things are not equal. The RNC, the fact that Trump is a leader and the behaviors that you guys allow, like Marjorie Green Taylor, Lauren Boebert, to get away with is wild, particularly according to your own espoused values. You are betraying your own espoused values as a conservative like 90% of the time. Whereas the Democrats' biggest issue, I will fully admit, is falling into like basically woke culture mob and canceling everyone really, really bad um, and allowing like PC correctness and stuff to like take over also really, really bad and being really disconnected from like common people. Do you think independent centrists, blah, 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 blah. That's totally true. I was just putting out a t to a tiny light of optimism in the light of Trump from the right. I mean, my optimism from Trump from the right is that I don't believe that he'll like be successful in getting two thirds of the House or Senate. So I don't actually see him becoming a dictator in the next four years. What I am concerned about is him, um, more so SCOTUS, continuing to roll back uh, <laughs> balances of power in a way that like undermines democratic power. And we have a dictator in like 10 years. That's what it's I'm worried about. in the eyes, man. Clout, 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 clout. Oh, he's, we're going to get so much more viewers if we have this guy on there. No, no, you're not. Because now look where we're at. And people are, no one's going to. Isn't being spineless worse than being inconsistent? Uh, being, being a coward is not. So like if the liberal side, if we're saying is like cowardly, they like cowed to the PC mob. I don't think that's worse than being a hypocrite. You're kind of just like picking your vice now, like which one's more bearable. And the problem is that they're hypocrites and they're violent about it. That's what's an issue. I'm going to care about this in another month. No one's going to care about this by the end of August. Hello. But I'm, I'm bringing this up now. When you give these Hello. guys that kind of. But to be clear, there's a reason why most Republicans like Trump over the Democrats, because the Democrats have always kind of had like the we're better than you perspective. Right. Um, which is not good. It's a very big distaste for the average working man. It's very annoying. Anyway, when you give them that, I mean, yeah, you give them a huge inconsistencies can be fixed. Hypocrisy is very hard to fix. And also so can cowardice. What do you mean? <laughs> And increasingly, there's a large liberal movement that's starting up amongst like 30 year old liberals that are very, very, very anti cowardice uh, within the liberal party like that. That is just occurring. So like both of these things can be course corrected. Huge audience like that. The problem is that only one party seems to be OK with betraying what the Constitution and what democracy is. And that's the RNC. They're OK with the fact that Trump actively, willfully, and knowingly wanted to try to betray the Constitution. He wanted to do whatever it took to get him to win. And that's bad. That's anti-constitutional. And that's the concern. That's why, like, the reality is like, we got to hold everyone to the same standard. And the Democrats have not been trying to actively undo the democratic system for, like, a, to establish basically an authoritarian regime. They're just not doing that. Democrats are being like, we're better than you and we know better because we're educated. The problem is they're probably right about like 60% of the time. But when they're wrong, they're really wrong and they'll never admit that they're wrong. That, without looking into their background and not without looking at what, what they were and what they're doing, you say, well, we want to have a lively conversation. We want to have free debate and open debate. They don't want to have. Conservatives never liked the Constitution. Let's be real here. They said they did in the last 60 years. Have open debate. They want to get out there and they want to influence. That's what they wanted to do. And quite honestly. It's been the game for years. The Dems just took the opportunity to weaponize it. They've both taken the opportunity to weaponize it. Don't at me. Reagan did tons of fucked up shit. Tons of fucked up shit. Honestly, they would rather you not exist. I'm not going to say the word. But that's the solution. The solution for them is for you to be erased, whether that's canceling or whatever else. And you know what I'm talking about. Whether you're being canceled, whatever it is, cancel culture, this cancel right, culture, that blah, 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 blah. Okay. So anyways, 
Is the rational now okay? He believes that Destiny inspired the shooter and that the shooter was a member of Progressive Victory. This may be the most unhinged. So anyways, Rolo accidentally showed his alt account. (laughs) So Rolo replied, GFY, you ran, you pussy. Um, So this guy just keeps asking the ZZ guy. Hold on. Sorry. It's scrolling so fast. This guy just keeps asking, why are you dodging just like, why are you dodging just like, because basically he refused to come and talk to just like, and give just like the juicy, juicy content that he wanted. Okay. Why are you dodging? He just keeps hounding him. Why are you dodging? Why are you dodging? Why are you dodging? Okay. Okay. So we've established that this guy bothers him a lot. So finally, no one enforces gender roles. Humans innately adopt them. Gender roles are downstream from biology. Why are you dodging? Who the ever loving fuck is just like the guy you're currently dodging? Feel free to hop on stream to explain this take to us enlightened one, okay? Successful guys equals guys who don't give a fuck. Successful guy equals guys who don't dodge just like loser and cowardly guy who dodges just like in spite of being on X all day, usually named Rolo. And then Seattle Sports Junkie responds. First mistake is thinking I'm on X all day. Second is thinking I'm dodging anything. Third mistake is thinking I take any of this seriously. So this is Rolo responding on his alt. Okay. Did you mean to reply with your alt? (laughs) This post was deleted by the post author. (laughs) And then he insta blocks the guy who's been hounding him. Now he's responding to himself. This right here, in general terms, women do not care about looks as much as men think they do. By comparison with men, you are correct. That said, women are far more fixated on a man's look. So now you're talking to yourself on your alt and still dodging just lick. This account was also spamming him, but this is the first time it mentioned the alt account. Rolo also blocked this account for noticing his, uh, his alt. <laughs> I wonder what he's got going on to say here. Hold on. Krieger, can I show these on stream? So here is what the alt is getting up to. What is Rolo getting up to when he thinks nobody is looking? All right. And nobody knows. Let's see. He's not even trying to hide it anymore. Why hide it? Own it, their move. Okay, seems pro KKK. Again, Reverend Ray Sistman. Apparently, he really hates Reverend Ray Sistman. White history always repeats itself with a fist in the air and Trump. <laughs> oh my God, hold on, we gotta pause this. Here are some of his posts that just say the, the N word. Okay, so right history always repeats itself. I'm failing to see how this is bad. Remember, this is Rolo's alt account. Here's his alt account just saying the N word. Just casually, just everywhere, all over the place. Just really loves it. Sitting hard on it. Move on. Just everywhere. May 27th, May 25th. Well, we got to X off some of these things. They're taking up so much space. There's more than I'm showing you. I'm just not going to go through all of it. Ah, there's an iShow speed. Let's just go to his account. Let's see what Seattle. Wouldn't it be funny if this account had me blocked too? I probably, I've never seen it before, so. Nigel 1804151. This is why you should never trust any of these accounts. Sensitive skinned bitch. Apparently he just lets all his rage out here. Frauds until we make World Series. For a beta male. This is very much his language. We loaded in yet? Okay. I still don't understand how this idiot became famous. He's only famous on a plantation. Remember, this is Rolo Tomasi's alt. (laughs) 
Jeez. Crazy. This is so big. I like actually can't even load half of it. Five straight losses, terrible offense, offense is not the problem. Just the opposite. You are alone. Notice it, own it, live it. Don't insult gorillas at your local auction. He's not actually watching. N word the zoo is just one of many. Oh my God. Own it there, move. They need a plantation to pick some cotton. Oh my gosh, Rolo is unhinged. I wonder if his uh, his if his black viewers are aware of this. Um, if you're a watcher of Rolo Tomasi and you're a person of color, are you aware that his alt thinks that apparently just any any 2024 uh, you know black rapper or singer needs a plantation? This is crazy. Alpha quality is classic. Sun's out, bun's out, beautiful. <laughs> no shot. Oh man. Of course, of course he's gooning over an ass. <laughs> Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Are you weak and an incel? The answer is yes. Damn, I'm using incel. This gorilla is my goat. A peasant is above a slave. Oh my God. God. Rolo needs to fess up. And for those who are tuning just in, we have definitive concrete proof that Rolo is this account because he was in a fight with this guy who was bugging him to debate Jeslik and he accidentally responded on his alt. <laughs> Sex vessel, guy who doesn't dodge just like coward who dodges just like in spite of being on X, usually named Rolo. First mistake is thinking I'm on X all day. I am, as in Rolo is. You know he's going to claim it's not him, but it is because he goes on to delete this and then blocks everyone who says that it's his alt. Oh my God, look at it. It's so bad. What does being black have to do with that? Slave status. He's almost famous on a plantation. Holy shit. Oh my God, this is so bad. Monkey's gonna monkey. Gorilla gonna gorilla. Don't insult gorillas. They are good for your entertainment at your local auction. Oh my God. I don't like to comment on Penny Anderson, but how did I show speed really just scare a man's baby on purpose? Oh my God, this is so stupid. People caring about this. I'm not black or even close to being brown. You're just showing how much of an easy trap or brainwash you are. I don't see what color you are. <laughs> Shoot your best shot. <laughs> it's not on here. You already have your best. I can't say any of this shit on stream. All right, boys, you know what time it is. Uh, well, I'm going to be tuning off, but if uh, you want to catch me on Twitter, I'll be blowing this the fuck up. Am I blocked already? He unblocked me a while ago. Oh, it's going to be so funny if you block me already. <laughs> And so who cares? Uh, his thousands of people of color that watch him? What do you mean? When did he block me? I just started covering this. Holy shit. It's probably because I teased it like an hour ago. 
towards the end, he asked, cat, cat in him for sex? Bro, is that the meta is to have alt? This is why I would never have an alt. <laughs> There's no way I could coordinate enough to remember to like swap between them. If I had an alt, I'd probably out myself within like a day or two. The funny thing is, I guarantee you if Rolo covers this at all, he's just going to focus on me tagging the wrong Myron at first. Like that's it. Also, I'm not telling you guys to go and like and boost my stuff. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm just going to spam the fuck out of him while I can. <laughs> That is crazy. Well, that's all for today, folks. I'm going to go eat. Big hugs, big kisses. Think well. And, uh, you know, I will see you guys another day. I don't know when. If you enjoy my streams, don't forget to become a member. Become a Prime member. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy Editor anything here. else. Or if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and consider joining as a member for only a few dollars a month. We will be releasing videos covering topics from the private and personal to the public and political. So join Not So Erudite today on her live streamed look on life.